like when I throw or hit the spear. You know what I mean? Exactly. Just a lot of these situations, it's just what Vivi gains from, you know, kind of playing that person mm -hmm. in neutral. Yeah, potentially very uh, movement-based match. So we're going to get into game one on Smashville. Uh, small stage as well, so there's bound to be a, a lot of close interactions on this one. We'll see how this affects how they play. Um, pretty good. Oh, okay. Falco conversion off that one. And a chase off the Smashville platform. Pretty even right now. Both of them have gotten just one confirm each into some good damage. Um, Tell them to be really aggressive early on with the... Uh, with the Falco Phantasms. Um, yes, absolutely. We'll and that was a very nice handsome of footstool right there to get mm -hmm. out of that combo. Wow, so crazy. Yeah. Ooh, and That's the down there tricky, top yeah. four spot, but not gonna take it. Not enough aura, dang it. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yeah, that, that down air out of shield is tricky. Stalls in place, has very weird sendaways. I think if you just get the first hit, it keeps you in place like that. Um, now, uh, Vivi sitting on a very healthy amount of aura, although until they also look in at potentially one confirm to uh, get Vivi out of there. Ooh. Tech chase. All right, patient. Down there to get Vivi out of that situation. Potential edge guard. Oh! oh and two that. frame with aura sphere. Absolutely. Now, the thing that I want to mention definitely really quickly is how just, you know, it, how the micro spacing, you know, kind of has to be for Tilde to actually avoid a lot of these wave bounces in neutral. Um, you know, like we've seen Tilde kind of just like narrowly, not even narrowly, just barely miss Vivi in a lot of these situations where it's just like, how do you kind of avoid this? That well, like it, it was literally just a, a very small, like a micro frame. Oh, good missed, chase with illusion. Oh, wow. what a smart call. So a lot of Absolutely. characters, so how that works is that the angle that Lucario hits the stage affects uh, how Lucario bounces. And Lucario can either be pretty punishable to relatively not punishable at all. So Tilde chasing with the illusion, smart call, uh, pretty much catches wherever BB lands on that one and then gets conversion up into the up air. Absolutely. Now we're in this situation where we see Vivi, you know, kind of at this percent, this is what Vivi wants, and gonna miss yeah. that tech, and gonna go for that smash. That's definitely something that I've seen from Vivi multiple times. Whenever they definitely need to, you know, get a kill, if you miss that tech, and if you're not very careful, you will lose that stock, like Vivi is gonna lose that stock to that up to back here right there. Absolutely amazing for both of these players, and it's just honestly real crazy, like, just really, really, like, like amazing just like how uh, like amazingly like close this is yeah it's pretty even right now both of them sort of looking for a confirm uh vivi does have the benefit of being able to charge up horror spheres a little bit of pressure from across the stage uh thankfully till they still throwing out the reflectors on that one which will put additional pressure on vivi to mix it up can't get predictable with it good two frame oh! yo the conversion oh, my, oh god. my god oh my god that was so good they got that mm. two frame with the down to it and then immediate uh, down yeah, till they's happy about it y'all are not well, y'all have been ready because if you have not been watching this stream, Xena 209, you should be knowing at this point how nasty <laughs> Tilde is. If you don't know, then now you need to know. You need to get accustomed to it. Like, that was just so crazy. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very good pick up on that one. <laughs> but and anyways, that yes. That is one other thing about this. Lucario does have the ability to change the direction on the up B. Um, but there's only really the mix-up of will I go to the ledge or will I not go to the ledge when you're down there like that. Absolutely. So good on Tilde to just look for the timing on that. Uh, and we're going to return, actually, to Smashville. And we'll see how this game 2 works out for Vivi's counter pick. Right. Absolutely. Now Drag getting down some advantage. Very, some very, some very solid damage. Oh no. The, definitely the thing that I feel like, you know, Tilde has been more so accustomed to now is, you know, Vivi and their like type of um you know habits that they have when they actually feel pressured. Mm -hmm. Like that jump. Like a lot of the times where um Nice where Vivi has gotten caught rolling from a very disadvantageous position, Tilde has been right there just to read all of those situations, and that's extremely nice from Tilde, and just wow. But Tilde is absolutely not letting up on this advantage. They did the turnaround back air into a uh, turnaround up air into back air, sorry, and just wow. Like, their advantage has been so good this entire Oh, game and yep. wow, this is looking absolutely so scary. 
Yep, this is definitely not out though. You only need a couple good interactions, especially with uh, Aura Rising like this for Vivi to make a comeback. Although that's a very strong out of shield option. Not quite gonna take it till they threatening real far with the edge guard. That was such an amazing call out from till they gonna read that air dodge. <laughs> So they has been so good on staying on top of all of these situations that we have seen nice. from Vivi and gonna read or not read, they're gonna take that stock with Nair sitting at a comfortable 81% on their third stock. They've been at this, you know, position for just so long and it's been so amazing. Mm -hmm. Just Wow. We're, we're still seeing a lot of cognizance from Vivi, like right there. We see uh, ready to shield the Aura Sphere coming back. So absolutely not uh, letting the deficit get to his head. This is still very doable. Lucario has a lot of comeback factor. All right, good get up attack on that one. And again, look, see, like waiting on these tech chase opportunities. Oh! Where very totally nice. Very chase. Nice. Now, I know I was talking about, you know, how Vivi actually wants to find out what to do in neutral. Mm -hmm. And although they haven't gotten too much of an answer, it's actually Tilde finding out everything that, you know, Vivi wants to do. You know, Vivi definitely has a lot of very bad habits and Tilde has absolutely, I know I said this before, but they've been so good at just catching every single thing that, you know, Vivi's been putting out. Mm -hmm. All right. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, till they the till they feeling himself real hard. Oh, the Dunzel's not going to do it. Forward air, scary place to be. Lasers to try to take a jump. Ah! Oh my god, what a good drift back. All right, parry. Oh my god, this yep. is looking so scary. Oh this my is scary god. for both. This is like one conversion away to death for Vivi. Um, but then Tilde just needs to get a good hit off stage. That'll definitely do it. Absolutely, that was so amazing. Like literally, Tilde really honestly just said right there, like you better pick up what I'm putting down. You are not allowed to have any fun. You cannot air dodge in my face. You cannot try, you, you think this is your ledge? Absolutely not, this is my ledge. Mm -hmm. You cannot have any fun. Literally so amazing. Tilde yep. really just had such a good, you know, kind of time just reading what, you know, um, you know, what Vivi actually kind of wanted to do. But mm -hmm. I think that's going to be it for us. We are actually going to get you guys some new casters and we're going to get some more amazing games. However, that's going to be it for us. I am Jazzy G. I am the Bayonetta Connoisseur, if you must not know. If, the, if there's anything... Ba I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> if there's I'm doing anything the Bayonetta bear. related that you need to know, I got you. And we also have... Yep, Gretch. You can follow me at the real Gretch here. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to be getting Duramgar and Rickles on the mic here shortly. So please stick around as we move into i believe it's top six top eight uh enjoy the show guys absolutely have a good night we'll be back soon